Hey everyone, this is Ross, and the other day I did a video on beginner plants, and that just got us thinking, why don't I do a video on beginner fish? Because that's a topic that not a lot of people have went into on YouTube, and I find that a lot of beginners are confused about, about what type of fish to get when they're starting out. I get lots of messages regarding that. So today I just want to summarise up the best beginner fish in my opinion. Um, so first of all, if you ask any experienced fish keeper what they'd recommend for beginners, they'd probably say goldfish. And there's a few good reasons why they'd recommend them. Um, I occasionally do recommend goldfish, but um, I'm just going to give you the reasons. Um, the cold water fish, so they don't need a heater. So that's great if um, the new fish keeper hasn't got a high budget. Um, they can have a stable diet of flake foods. And they're very hardy, they're not too fussy on water parameters, things like that, but they do, in, they do need a filter. Um, so they are some good reasons to keep goldfish as your first beginner pet. But um, there is one big con with having goldfish, and that's just the size of them. The common goldfish can actually grow to 14 inches, the comet can grow even bigger, and some of the smaller fancy varieties um, can grow about six or seven inches, which is still much larger than any tropical fish. Um, so because they're much bigger, it means they produce more waste, and therefore they need a larger tank. So the commons probably need a 20 gallon tank and up, and um, the smaller fancy tailed varieties are probably going to need a 10 to 15 gallon and up. But um, yeah, they really do need large tanks. And sometimes beginners just can't afford large tanks and they can't really maintain them very well because I haven't had any experience in fish keeping. So I'd kind of go with tropical fish if I were you. Um, tropical fish tend to be a lot smaller and a lot more colourful. Uh, goldfish are quite bright but um, you don't often see blues in goldfish. Shabunkins have a bit of blue but it's nothing as bright as tropical. Um, some goldfish are red, but they're not as red as tropical. Um, tropical just tends to be a bit more colourful. And tropical fish tend to produce uh, less waste as well. Um, so if you are going to go with tropical fish, then I'd recommend some live bearers, such as guppies, platies and sawtails, because they are very colourful fish. They're very hardy. Almost as hardy as goldfish, and um, they can have a staple diet of flakes. They do prefer a bit of variety, bloodworms every now and again, but they can survive on flakes. There's no reason why they, they won't live on flakes. Um, heaters can be bought very cheaply. Um, this 100 watt heater was actually only £10 off eBay, so that's about $16, $17. So you can get them very cheap if you just look around, compare them. But, um, yeah, so I'd go with live bearers if I was you. Very easy to keep. Don't produce too much waste. Um, they are one of those tropical fish that are on the higher end of the scale, but they produce nowhere near as much waste as goldfish. And um, they don't really require too much of a big tank. About 10 gallons. Um, 10 to 15 gallons, not too fussy. But, um, yeah, great fish. I'd go with live bearers if I was you. Um, if you can't afford to have a 10 gallon tank, you can only afford to have a, a 3 or 4 gallon, then fighting fish are a great option. Um, don't keep fighting fish in cups. It's, they can survive in them, um, but it's not very healthy for them, and it's going to shorten the lifespan by one or two years. So, yeah, just don't keep them in, in cups, something like that, something stupid or in Tupperwares. Keep them in a 3 or 4 gallon tank and up. I've got mine in a 7 gallon tank and he's doing great. Um, that's just a nice size for fighting fish. But they can get away with 3 or 4 gallons. Um, so fighting fish have beautiful colours. You can get them in lots of different colours. So yellow ones, I've saw green ones which are quite rare. Blue is quite common, red's quite common. Uh, there's loads of different colours. Um, one downside to them is you can only keep one by itself and um, you can keep 
females together, provided you've got a big enough tank. But uh, kind of getting away from the point, yeah, because um, I recommended fighting fish because of the small tank size. So if you want to keep fighting fish in a small tank, keep one by itself. And um, they're not too fussy on diet either. Do prefer pellets as opposed to flake foods, but they will eat flakes. Um, and they prefer a bit of variety, maybe bloodworms every one or two weeks. But they're not too fussy. Um, very low maintenance. If you are feeding pellets, you only need three or four pellets a day, if that. Um, so they're, yeah, they're great little fish. Uh, very nice colours, small tank size. They do need a heater though. And um, if anything, I'd go with live bearers if I was you. They're just so colourful. Um, great personalities. Mm, a decent sized tank. And um, don't produce too much waste. So I hope this vid helped you. If anyone else has got any suggestions on beginner fish, just leave some comments down below. And I'm sure um, beginners will look down in the comments to read them. Um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, please. Um, please subscribe. And that's it. Thanks a lot. Bye.